super capitalist is a new independently made financial thriller set in New York and Hong Kong, trying to play to audiences in both East and West. The key character is Connor Lee, portrayed by Derek Ting, a New York hedge fund trader who moves to Hong Kong to put in place a hostile takeover of a family corporation. Connor Lee's boss is played by British actor Linus Roach. Look, you are doing exactly what you should be doing. I mean, it's a very simple story, really. It, it's a story about, um, you know, big money, kind of Wall Street money in Asia, and this young man going out to his home country to basically pull off a kind of sting operation that's led by my character, who's a very ambitious hedge fund guy, and he's trying to basically take over this this opera, this business in China, and it becomes for Derek Ting, the writer and lead actor in this film, it becomes a moral journey for him of what will he do. What makes you think some punk college dropout has the privilege of telling me what to do? I'm covering your sector for the last six months. I've been drafting proposals, I've been crunching the numbers, I'm pretty much doing your job. This film has really been a labor of love for Derek Ting, who not only stars in the picture, but is also its first time writer and producer. It's taken the American-born Ting, who now lives in Hong Kong, six years to get the film off the ground. It was made for what is, in the world of cinema, a very small amount of money. I did this for under half a million US dollars. Um, so I even thought I was crazy to make a film for that little and try to achieve a level um, that was presentable and believable. Given that you had such a, a small budget, didn't that really compromise the quality of what you did? Surely it must have done. Uh, I mean, I would like to leave it to the audience, for sure. I mean, um, it was definitely a challenge. As an artistic piece, I'm very happy with it, so I, I wouldn't necessarily say compromise anything. It's just, it is what it is. I mean, this is like organically what was created with many people. Welcome to Amazing Hong Kong, everybody. In terms of filmmaking, Super Capitalist isn't beyond what you might expect from an independent film put together on a limited budget. An effort has been made to portray Hong Kong a little differently from how it often appears in movies. Well, I think it's a very sophisticated Hong Kong um, that you see, which I think, you know, hasn't been shown enough. Um, so I was excited to have, like, to show, like, the CEOs, like, the big families out in Hong Kong and how they, um, you know, run their companies, how they think, how they, um, you know, even under a... A similar capitalist society. Super capitalists. We are a superior, covert agency of operatives created and incentivized to fulfill one mission. Your God-given right to make as much money as you can before you die. Like many financial films, from Oliver Stone's Wall Street movies to the recent critically acclaimed Margin Call, this picture shows a capitalistic world populated by people motivated by selfishness and greed. Is Supercapitalist trying to offer a critique of capitalism? Definitely, yes. When you say the word capitalism, the first thing that came up to me was like the unhealthy aspect of where that can lead. If you just define everything through material wealth, through material success, so if you look at capitalism through that lens, it's going to be the road to ruin because it misses out the fundamental essence of who we are. Having pulled his film together is quite an achievement for Derek T. You'll have to hope that key critics warm to what he's done if his picture is to make headway. It is just one of many low-budget passion projects angling for an audience.